All right, let's go in everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what to expect in tomorrow's new B21.50 update of Fortnite. We should pretty much be expecting like uh, PO POI changes, you know, collaborations, leaks, and more. Now, before the video starts, be sure to go to the Adam Shop, y'all, and use my code FireGamer to support me. And don't forget to put my code back in the Adam Shop whenever my code will be getting expired, like pretty much every two weeks. All right, at first, let's talk about the updated cosmetics. As you guys know, that whenever we get, uh, you know, content Fortnite updates, you guys know, right? They always update cosmetics, like leaked skins, emotes, you know what I mean? Hopefully tomorrow when the update comes out, they will also be updating at least, hopefully, one or two rare emotes. With that being said, speaking of that, yesterday, guys, I made a video of me talking about which rare emotes uh, will pretty much be getting updated in tomorrow's update. If you guys want to check out the video, I will leave the link in the description below because I just like don't want to mention the you know uh, emotes in this video again, so I will not be making you know longer. But yeah, that's much to be for the updated cosmetics, guys. Of course, I personally don't know which cosmetics will be getting updated, but I can say we should be uh, seeing the new crew pack getting updated as I'll see on the screen. That is going to be the crew pack. Of course, this crew pack it is going to be for September. So a leaker named iFire Monkey gave us a small information, so credit goes to them. The bad thing will spin every time you open a chest. The rap changes suits with each elimination, hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. So this pack, I believe it is set to come out at Thursday, which means at the 1st of September, because that's going to be the first day of September. And I'm sure you guys know that whenever Fortnite tries to release new crew packs, they always release the first day of, you know, a specific month you know what i mean because that's how they always do that so yeah first of september this pack should be coming out like i'm gonna say the crew pack which i guess the skin is pretty good i believe that it's gonna be the uh female version of the wild card skin and fun fact this skin was leaked a couple of months ago because it was pretty much a part of these uh leaked survey skins also uh speaking of the leaked survey skins a few days ago we just got around 73 or 75 leaked survey skins which means that these uh, skins are 100 percent gonna be uh, releasing in the item shops battle passes and crew packs let me show you guys as you can see those are the uh, new leaked survey skins so yeah they look really cool and all of these should be coming out with the uh, future upcoming item shops battle passes crew packs star packs and uh yeah maybe some of these will might be exclusive but of course it is not confirmed yet we don't have any other information but yeah you guys see as well here on the screen those skins are also really cool especially the default skin it's like a you know pixelized so yeah out on that we just got a new information about a character a part of the uh teen titan skull the starfire so a leaker named hypex said the following according to a well-known video games journalist tom henderson Teen Titans Starfire might be coming to Fortnite on September 2nd. I also think that if they can try to add like more, you know, uh, Teen Titan Go skins, not only just Starfire, I think that'll be good. But for now, that is not confirmed yet because the leakers are saying they might release. They might release, you know what I mean? It's not like really confirmed. But yeah, they actually have said that this uh, information was from a reliable source. So hopefully, this collaboration. It will be happening pretty soon i mean i believe they have said like pretty much september 2nd so uh yeah on to the next one we're also going to be talking about uh, pretty much the fortnite x aya nakamura collaboration now over like a few days ago i made a full video we talked about the upcoming collaboration of fortnite x aya nakamura because this collaboration will also be leading the release of the leaked copinas emote this emote was leaked like a few months ago but you know we didn't saw the release of this emote you know what i mean because this emote belongs to a famous french artist aya nakamura you know what i mean so for more information about the copinas emote when is it coming out i will leave a videos link in the description below which I just pretty much gave you guys all of the uh, information about the Fortnite x Aya Nakamura collaboration. Also, uh, speaking of the collaboration, Fortnite announced the return of the Gen Hoshino's collaboration, the event. So they've said the following, get ready to dance again, catch a repeat showing of Gen Sandem's Soundwave series starting August 31st at 8am Eastern Time until September 2nd at 8am Eastern Time. So because of this collaboration announcement again, Fortnite x Gen Hoshino, I believe that this will be a good opportunity that we will be seeing the leaked Quadance emote finally coming through Adam Shop. Of course, it is not confirmed yet, 
but the collaboration it is confirmed we're going to be seeing the collaboration happening but we just don't really know if fortnite are going to be dropping the link quarter in the Arab shop or not i mean they should do that because we're about to we're like supposed to you know get the emote in the, in the Arab shop but unfortunately they never did that if you guys want, I will leave a link in the description. It's a video where we're giving you guys all of the information about the Quiet Dance emote. Check it out. You guys will not regret it. Same goes as well for the Copinus emote. Just check out the video as well. Click the link in the description. Also, we should be expecting the return of the Pump Shotgun. I don't think that the OG Pump Shotgun will come back. Maybe the uh, second version of the Pump Shotgun. Because a couple of days ago, Fortnite have uh, mentioned something about the... Uh, late game arena because it's going to return in a few days and because of that everyone now believes that the pump shotgun is going to be returning because i believe fortnite just tried to tease us the return of the pump shotgun because they just literally said pumped let me show you guys credit to hypex the pump shotgun might return next week based on epic's latest post where they capitalized legendary and pumped which could be a teaser what a legendary reaction, we're so pumped to see a drop in at 8 a.m. Eastern time on 8 30, 2022, like you know what I mean, September 30. So yeah, like they literally had capitalized the word legendary and pumped. Now even though if they didn't capitalize the word legendary, they literally capitalized the word pumped. I guess that's gonna be a teaser that the pump shotgun it is gonna return, but I think it's gonna be the second style and not the OG one. I mean, I hope that they both will return, but as of now, all I heard from people saying that the uh, legendary version will return, you know what I mean? I'd like the OG one. Like, I'm trying to say the second style of the pump shotgun and not the OG version, but hopefully the OG one will also return. And now we're gonna be talking about the uh, Hulk Buster, you know, the Iron Man Hulk Buster. So, Hypex said the following, of course, credit goes to them. We just got confirmation that Hulkbuster appears in the next Fortnite x Marvel Comics with a 7 look and we know that Epic will be working on a new mech vehicle that can shoot, a sprint and block. So he's probably the next mech. Now whatever Hypex said, it is true. It actually like makes sense. Like think about it. Epic Games have been working something like this and especially the fact that this Hulkbuster was you know appeared into the new Fortnite x Marvel comic book, I think that this actually makes sense. But ever since the next season, the chapter 3 season 4, for those of you guys who don't know yet, the next season, it is potentially going to be a Marvel themed season. So I think that if, can, if they can like try to make the Hulkbuster as of a item shop or a battle pass skin, I think that this will be cool. I mean, it's either going to be a uh, mech, like a part of the mech, like the same as mech, I'm going to say, you know, where you guys can find it throughout the island, the map, or I think it's pretty much going to be a skin. I have no idea yet, so if I do get any new information about the Hulkbuster, I will keep you guys updated. We should be expecting as well a bunch of more leaks about the new upcoming season, season 4, so expect so many videos very soon. So the question is, in general, what can we expect in tomorrow's update? Again, credit goes to Hypex. Late Game Arena, I already mentioned about this, you guys know. Possible return of the Pump Shotgun, teased by Epic, you guys know, they had capitalized the word Legendary and Pumped. In-game look at the crew pack and new cosmetics, you guys know, the female version of the white car skin. Possible return of old lobbies, Reality Bloom, more leaks, hints about next season's content, team, starter pack, and more. And now, for the last information, which I think it might be interesting for some of you guys, a leaker named IFR Monkey have said something. Well-marked listings have been spotted for the following upcoming Hasbro X Fortnite six figures: Agent Jones, Punk, Saint Winter, Aerial Assault Trooper, and Menace. As you all can see, those are the four skins a part of the uh, Fortnite X Hasbro collaboration. But there is an interesting information about the Aerial Assault Trooper skin. So if you guys will be taking a look at the above of your screen, it is written Aerial Ace Trooper, a part of the Walmart website. But below it says Aerial Assault Trooper. So due to this information, I think that this is now leading to the gingerbread version of the Aerial Assault Trooper skin that was leaked a while ago. But unfortunately, Fortnite never released that skin in the item shop, you know, because now we just saw a different name into the Hasbro website, you know, Aerial Ace Trooper and the skin that was leaked a while ago, the gingerbread version of the skin the name of this skin was unknown and now ever since we saw this information, I just uh, 
you know, wanted to tell you guys about this, you know, of course it is not confirmed that if the name, you know, the uh, Aerial Ace Trooper, it is going to be the name of the gingerbread skin that was leaked a while ago, but hopefully it will be. Everything will be clear uh, pretty soon, you know what I mean? Of course, like I said, it is not official, but it's just the information, the small information that I just wanted to share with you guys. Alright guys, so tomorrow we're having the update. Those are going to be everything that I mentioned in today's video. Hopefully, um, tomorrow's update will be a good one. Alright, next month we should be expecting as well the Halloween update. So of course, I'll be trying my best to make more and more banger content for you guys. So stay tuned. Just be sure to have the post notifications on to never miss out any of my future upcoming Fortnite videos here on the channel. Make sure you guys drop a like, share, and if you guys have anything to say, feel free. With that being said guys, tomorrow, as soon as the update comes out, I'm gonna be making a video of me covering and talking about all content and especially like everything into the new V21.50 update, so stay tuned, alright? And of course, if they'll be trying to update rare emails, then I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget as well to follow my Twitch channel because I'm gonna be streaming there hopefully every single day, so stay tuned and have a good one.